LibreOffice 2584 represents Another important step in the long and steady evolution of one of the world's most respected free and open source office productivity suites. When people hear about a point release like 25.84, it might sound small or purely technical, but in reality, such releases are where LibreOffice truly proves its maturity. This version is not about flashy marketing promises or experimental ideas, but about refining an already powerful platform so that it works more reliably, more securely, and more smoothly for millions of users across the globe. From home users writing documents and managing personal budgets to governments, schools, and enterprises relying on LibreOffice. Every day, version 25.8, 4 is all about trust, stability, and polish. At its core, LibreOffice has always been about freedom. Freedom from vendor lock-in, freedom to use open document formats, and freedom to control your own data. LibreOffice 25.8 4 continues this mission by strengthening the foundations that make these freedoms practical in real-world scenarios. It builds on the LibreOffice 25.8 series, which already introduced broader compatibility, better performance, and improved user experience and then takes things further by fixing bugs reported by the community, addressing edge cases that only appear in heavy daily use, and tightening security to meet modern expectations. One of the most important aspects of LibreOffice 25.8, 4, is overall stability. In an office suite, stability is not a luxury, it is a necessity. People expect their documents to open correctly, edits to be saved reliably, and long working sessions to remain smooth without crashes or data loss. This release focuses heavily on crash fixes, memory management improvements, and more predictable behavior across different operating systems. Whether you're running LibreOffice on Linux, Windows, or Mac OS, the goal of 25.84 is to make the experience feel solid and dependable. Even during complex tasks like handling very large documents, spreadsheets with thousands of formulas, or presentations with embedded media. Libre Offici Writer, the word processing component, benefits significantly from these refinements. Writer is often used for critical documents such as reports, academic papers, legal texts, and books, where formatting accuracy and long-term compatibility are essential. In LibreOffice 25.8, four numerous small but meaningful improvements come together to enhance daily work. Text layout consistency has been refined especially in documents that mix different fonts, languages, or writing directions. Users working with multilingual content, including right-to-left languages, benefit from more predictable cursor behavior and improved text alignment. These may sound like subtle details, but for writers, editors, and translators, they make a noticeable difference in comfort and productivity. Compatibility with Microsoft Word documents continues to be a major focus. LibreOffice 25.8 4 further improves the import and export of docs files, especially in areas like tables, tracked changes, comments, and complex page layouts. Many users work in environments where documents move back and forth between LibreOffice and Microsoft Office, and each release aims to reduce friction in that workflow. With 25.84, documents are more likely to look the same on both sides, minimizing the need for manual adjustments and reducing the risk of miscommunication caused by formatting issues. LibreOffice Calc, the spreadsheet application, also sees important refinements in this release. Calc is widely used not only for basic spreadsheets, but also for advanced data analysis, financial modeling, and scientific work. In LibreOffice 25.8 4. Performance improvements help large spreadsheets open faster and respond more smoothly during editing. Formula recalculation has been optimized in certain scenarios, reducing delays when working with complex sheets. This is especially valuable for users who rely on Calc as a serious alternative to proprietary spreadsheet software and need confidence that it can handle demanding workloads. Accuracy is another key theme in Calc improvements. Minor calculation inconsistencies reported by users in earlier versions have been addressed, ensuring that formulas behave as expected. Better compatibility with Excel files, particularly Excel, means that imported spreadsheets are more reliable with fewer surprises in formulas, charts, and conditional formatting. Over time, these incremental fixes add up, making LibreOffice Calc a stronger and more trustworthy tool for professionals. LibreOffice Impress, the presentation component, benefits from stability and compatibility enhancements as well. Presentations are often used in high-pressure situations such as meetings, lectures, or conferences 
where failures are simply not acceptable. LibreOffice 25.8 4 improves the handling of multimedia elements, animations, and slide transitions, reducing the likelihood of glitches during playback. Compatibility with PowerPoint files continues to improve, allowing users to open, edit, and present PPTX files with greater confidence that layouts and effects will be preserved. LibreOffice Draw, while sometimes overlooked, is an important tool for diagrams, flowcharts, and basic vector graphics. In this release, Draw sees refinements in object handling, snapping behavior, and file import reliability. These improvements make it easier to create clean diagrams and to work with files originating from other drawing or presentation tools. For users who rely on Draw for technical documentation or visual explanations, these changes enhance precision and usability. LibreOffice Base, the data best, also benefits from bug fixes and compatibility improvements in version 2.5.8.4. While Base is often used by more technical users, it plays a crucial role in small business applications, internal tools, and educational projects. This release improves stability when connecting to external databases and refines the behavior of forms and reports. As with other components, the emphasis is on making everyday tasks more reliable rather than introducing radical new features. Another major area of focus in LibreOffice 25.8.4 is security. In today's digital environment, Office documents are a common attack vector, and security cannot be an afterthought. This release includes fixes for vulnerabilities identified in earlier versions, improving the way LibreOffice handles potentially malicious files, better validation of document content, safer handling of macros, and improved sandboxing behavior all contribute to a more secure user experience. While many of these changes operate behind the scenes, they are essential for users who open documents from external sources or work in shared environments. Performance improvements in LibreOffice 25.8. Four are not limited to individual applications. Across the suite, developers have worked on reducing startup time, improving responsiveness, and lowering resource usage in certain scenarios. These optimizations are especially noticeable on older hardware or lower-powered systems, which are common in schools, developing regions, and public institutions. LibreOffice's ability to run well on a wide range of hardware remains one of its strongest advantages and releases like 25.8 for reinforce that reputation. The user interface also receives subtle refinements in this version. LibreOffice has long offered multiple interface modes, from traditional menus and toolbars to more modern notebook-style layouts. LibreOffice 25.8.4 polishes these interfaces by fixing visual glitches, improving icon consistency, and refining spacing and alignment. While these changes may not be dramatic, they contribute to a more pleasant and professional feel, making LibreOffice easier to approach for new users and more comfortable for experienced ones. Accessibility is another important area addressed in LibreOffice 25.84. The LibreOffice community has been steadily improving support for screen readers, keyboard navigation, and high contrast themes. This release continues that effort by fixing accessibility-related bugs and improving compatibility with assistive technologies. For users with disabilities, these improvements can have a significant impact on their ability to work independently and efficiently. LibreOffice's commitment to accessibility aligns closely with its broader mission of inclusivity and openness. Under the hood, LibreOffice 25.8 for benefits from continuous code cleanup and modernization. Developers regularly refactor old code, remove technical debt, and improve internal API. While end users may not see these changes directly, they are critical for the long-term health of the project. Cleaner code makes LibreOffice easier to maintain, easier to extend, and less prone to subtle bugs. It also makes it easier for new contributors to get involved, strengthening the community that sustains LibreOffice. Community involvement is a defining characteristic of LibreOffice in version 25.8. Four is no exception. Many of the fixes and improvements in this release come directly from user feedback, bug reports, Feature requests and testing by volunteers all play a role in shaping the final product. This collaborative process ensures that LibreOffice evolves in response to real needs rather than purely commercial priorities. When users update to 25.8.4, they're benefiting from the collective effort of a global community of developers, testers, translators, and advocates. Localization and language support also continue to improve in Lib 25.8.4. LibreOffice supports an impressive number of languages, making it accessible to users around the world. This release includes updated translations, improved spell-checking dictionaries, and better handling of locale-specific formatting such as dates, numbers, and currencies. 
These details matter greatly for users working in non-English environments, ensuring that LibreOffice feels native and accurate regardless of language. Interoperability with open standards remains a central focus of LibreOffice, and 25.8.4 strengthens that commitment. Support for the open document format continues to be refined, ensuring that ODF files created in LibreOffice are fully compliant and future. This is especially important for organizations that value long-term access to their documents without dependence on a single vendor. By improving both ODF support and compatibility with proprietary formats, LibreOffice positions itself as a bridge rather than a barrier in mixed software environments. For enterprise and institutional users, LibreOffice 25.8. For offers reassurance, point releases like this are often chosen for deployment because they combine the features of a major release with additional stability gained from bug fixes. System administrators appreciate predictable behavior, fewer support tickets, and reduced risk of regressions. With 25.84, organizations can standardize on a version that reflects months of community testing and refinement. Education is another area where LibreOffice 25.84 shines. Schools and universities around the world rely on LibreOffice because it is free, open, and runs on a wide range of hardware. This release improves the experience for students and teachers alike by making the software more reliable and responsive. Compatibility improvements help students exchange documents with peers and instructors who may be using different office suites, reducing frustration and focusing attention on learning rather than technical issues. LibreOffice's cross-platform nature is reinforced in this release. Whether you're working on a Linux desktop, a Windows laptop, or a Mac OS workstation, LibreOffice 25.8. 4 aims to provide a consistent experience. Platform-specific bugs have been addressed and integration with each operating system has been refined. This consistency is especially valuable for users who switch between systems or collaborate across different environments. Another often overlooked but important aspect of LibreOffice 25.8. 4 is printing and PDF export. Many users rely on LibreOffice for generating final documents that need to be printed or shared as PDFs. This release improves the accuracy of print layouts and resolves issues related to margins, headers, footers, and embedded fonts. PDF export has been refined to produce more reliable and standards compliant files, ensuring that documents look correct when viewed or printed on different systems. Macros and extensions also receive attention in this release. LibreOffice 25.8 4 fixes issues that affected certain macro scripts and improves compatibility with existing extensions. For power users who rely on automation or custom workflows, these fixes are critical. They help ensure that upgrades do not break established processes and that Lib remains a flexible platform for customization. From a broader perspective, LibreOffice 25.8 4 demonstrates the strength of the open source development model. Instead of chasing trends or locking users into subscriptions, LibreOffice continues to focus on quality, transparency, and user empowerment. Each release builds incrementally on the last guided by real-world use rather than marketing cycles. This approach may not always generate headlines, but it creates software that people can depend on year after year. In practical terms, upgrading to LibreOffice 25.84 is about peace of mind. Users can expect fewer crashes, better compatibility, improved performance, and stronger security. For those already using the 25.8 series, this update is a natural step forward. For users on older versions, 25.8.4 represents a mature and polished option that showcases the current state of LibreOffice at its best. Ultimately, LibreOffice 25.8. For as a reminder that progress in software does not always come from dramatic changes. Sometimes it comes from careful attention to detail, from listening to users, and from a commitment to long-term quality. This release may not redefine what an office suite is, but it reinforces why LibreOffice remains a trusted choice for millions of people worldwide. It stands as a solid, dependable, and freedom-respecting tool ready to support everyday work, creative projects, and professional demands alike.